I am really excited for this one. I know Vince, um, whenever you see this, you'll probably end up being less excited than I am, but for myself, this is great news. So if you watched, not this week's Warhammer Weekly, but the week before, whenever we uh, Vince had to put it on on a Thursday instead of a Wednesday, and I was fortunate enough to be the guest for it, which I was really excited for. Uh, I discussed the fluff of Age of Sigmar, the narrative as it progressed, and I touched on, you know, for the Stormcasts and not Stormcast characters that had come thus far in the story, who was my favorite thus far, who I didn't like, um, and then we all talked about who we did and didn't want to come back from the old world. And I am excited to announce my newest tinfoil hat theory that I just developed as I was reading through, or rereading through the Eldritch Fortress book, which I am going to put up the narrative review video for that today, um, which is a story that contains uh, Thostis Bladestorm and Ionis Cryptborn and Vanus Hammerhand are probably the three largest name characters from the Stormcast that are really central to this. And it ties together two of the story arcs that have, you know, uh, been going on thus far in the Age of Sigmar with the um, Hammers of Sigmar and the Celestial Vindicators. Uh, we see their paths merge and the pursuit of Galmaraz. And one thing that we've already known about Ionis Cryptborn, who is my favorite Stormcast, uh, do I have his model in hand? I don't. Um, but I do have another very important model that I'll show in a little bit um, as I get to the end of this video. But we do know that Ionis Cryptborn is unique amongst Stormcasts. Um, all the other Stormcasts thus far have basically been claimed by Sigmar when they fought Chaos and died in combat. But Ionis recounts that earlier on, not in this story, that Sigmar came to him and asked him to serve him. And Ionis basically thought about it and said, well, my lord Nagash will be displeased with me um, and I will suffer for this, but yes, Sigmar, I will fight for you. I will basically, you know, be the first of your lord relictors and help to train all the others. And that's significant because no one else has had that, right? Nobody else basically did Sigmar respect enough, at least that's what I get from this, to come to them personally and say, will you serve me? Everyone else, they were just like, Sigmar save me, or Sigmar whatever, and then he took them as a Stormcast. And in this book, there is a particular line, and after I read this, um, Vince, I'm pretty sure that you and a few others will be able to tell where I'm going with this. So I had missed this in earlier readings, but I own his crypt board in the middle of this fight and he's talking about how he's able to sense the death magic and when death is approaching because he is in fact from the realm of death and he knows a bit of death magic. All the Lord Re Relictors do. Um, this is not like the old world where basically Sigmar's forces look at all that is like twisted. It, some of it they don't use and some of it they frown upon but they don't automatically throw it all out. And he says in this one battle that he is tempted to let himself die and return to his former master to be reunited once again with his beloved. Now, if you watch that uh, Warhammer Weekly, I mentioned one character that I would like to return. Um, and of course, Vince said, no, I don't want him to return um, because he had such a good story arc and such a perfect ending and they will only ruin the character. And I agreed that that was highly likely if he does return. However, based upon the arc uh, that this character, if this is in fact who I think it is, is continuing on, I think it's just a natural progression of where he left off. So without further ado, Iona Scriptborn, I believe, is Vlad. Why do I believe this? Well, number one, he is from the realm of death, Nagash is his first master and he desires to return to his beloved. There's not very many, at least to my knowledge, characters that specifically have a, another character within the Warhammer story that they refer to as their beloved, like over and over and over, as I've heard Vlad and Isabella. 
von Karstein do for each other, and he's from the Realm of Death, he is a death magic user, he is obviously of significance because Sigmar came to him, and from the end times we know that in the end, um, in the end of the end times, uh, Vlad chose to ally with Sigmar and forsake Nagash, um, because he basically came to the viewpoint of, I would rather ally and fight for the greater good than serve my own selfish interests. And that would fit with the same kind of character development, if all this is true, that Ionis has chosen to go through. And in addition, all of the Stormcasts take on a new name whenever they become a Stormcast, so it would make sense that he would be named something other than Vlad. So, just just tinfoil hatting. Don't have my tinfoil hat on hand um, from the show. But I do believe that Ionis Critborn is Vlad. I'll continue to research it, continue to look into the evidence, um, but I believe that's the case. So, please comment below what you think. Uh, if you think I'm completely wrong, do you have your theory on who Ionis may have been in the old world? And this does, of course, open up a can of worms of who are these other Stormcast characters, if they did exist in the old world. Um, but until next time, this is James, and happy gaming.